Andy, a great 2 0 win over Barrytown United Ladies today, which gives us the chance to keep it in our own hands going into the final two games. Well, that's the most important thing at this stage of the season make sure we're in control of what we can control. And as you rightly point out, that's what we've done. You know, a fantastic win by Port Talbot today away at Pontypridd. And we knew before today's game that, you know, we can't afford for them to, to get any more of a gap on us because, you know, it'll just become insurmountable with the number of games that are left to play. So going in at half time, we knew their score and they were already one up. So it was vital that we came out and we delivered the second half performance. But the most pleasing aspect for me is that we've learned how not to give silly goals away. So that's two games on the spin now where we've kept the clean sheet at the important stage of the season. So that's all that we can ask from the girls. Uh, you know, they've gone to the the well today, digging really, really deep in very, very challenging, humid, condi uh, warm conditions. So they've given everything. So I'm really, really pleased, very impressed with their, you know, attitude and application today. Yeah. And what were you saying to the players when it was no, no at the break? Well, I wanted more from them. I, I mean, obviously it was very hot and we were conscious of that. You know, we'd spoken about that over the last couple of days about making sure that we were hydrated and prepared for today's game. But at nil-nil, the important thing was we were still in the game. Uh, and we'd had arguably the three best chances, you know, uh, right on half time definite penalty for me absolutely stonewaller you know she's got in behind she's not going to fall over there when she's 1v1 against the keeper and then uh, obviously we'd had Caitlin and Lily get in behind so we knew you know that we could get in behind we just needed to see it more often and we were we were trying to play too tentatively so it was about moving the ball quicker uh, and, and continuing to believe that those opportunities were going to come. And we had those opportunities at the start of the second 45 when Georgia Griffiths hit a free kick and it fell to Beth Oates on the rebound who headed in recently. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to get the early goal because that settles the nerves a little bit. You know, I won't lie. Uh, I, it was very, very nervy today and I think the girls started nervy. You know, I've probably walked five miles during that game today be, because of the nerves. So in terms of emotion, yeah, I'm incredibly proud of them. You know, they're euphoric because they've got the win and the three points that they deserve. I'm delighted, but at the same time, very, very nervous at the same time because there's a lot riding on this so yeah it was um it was good that had we got this when we got the second that we just kept pushing sorry when we got the first we kept pushing for the second to see the game over the line and you know in the end we could have had three or four and and i know we've ridden our luck again you know they've hit the bar a couple of times but i feel that the way that we've played the last two weeks we've deserved to ride our luck and we've worked out now how to win games which is really important second goal came in the 64th minute when Lexi Harrison made a brilliant run down the right hand side and passed it into Caitlin Chapman and she slots it past the keeper's bottom right a well worked goal. Yeah, and there'd been a moment before that, you, you know, I'm not sure how many minutes before that, where she crossed it from too wide and she had the opportunity to bring it in and, and to find that player within the centre of the 18-yard box. And obviously we all know that it opens up the goal and it makes it a whole lot easier to score with those types of moves. So, you know, we've worked on that a lot uh, this season and, you know, it's nice to see those things start to come to fruition now and bear out in goals in, in important moments, which it was, as I've said, you know, the second goal was massively important. With the win, it also drags Barrytown back into that relegation battle. So it's a bit more <coughs> variables there for us to maybe get out of that uh, bottom spot going into the last two games. Yeah, and I think that's a spin-off of the win. You know, obviously for us, the most important thing was making sure we took care of our business. But as you rightly point out, you know, they'll be looking over their shoulder now. So did the nerves set in there? you know squeaky bum time for them as they say as much as the other two teams so yeah it's going to be a really exciting conclusion uh, the good thing for us obviously is those two teams play each other next week Port Talbot and Barrytown so they you know they've got to scrap each other for those points and, and we've got to do the business at Pontypridd. Our next game as you just mentioned is in two weeks time away at Pontypridd. I'm sure you'll be looking for another three points there to keep up the momentum. I was disappointed here a couple of weeks ago when we played them uh, here. We, we lost quite convincingly in the end. We weren't at the races that day, but when I look back to the game that we played at their place earlier in the season, uh, we were magnificent and I thought we were really, really unlucky that day. We missed a penalty, we hit the bar, uh, we were 1-0 up, gave a daft goal away 10 minutes uh, from the end. So we know we've got enough in our locker over the next two games to keep ourselves in this division and we'll be fighting tooth and nail to do that. Well done today Andy on a well worth three points. Thank you.